Hello everyone and welcome back to another hashtag trending with me Ali Reza. Today we're going to be mostly examining the prospects for the revival of the Iran nuclear deal, also known as the JCPOA. Let's get started. <laughs> Like many other Trump-era foreign policy decisions, Washington's backing out of the Iran nuclear deal was a big mistake. And that is why the new U.S. administration urgently wants back in. President Biden has been uh, very clear in saying that uh, if Iran comes back into full compliance with its obligations under the JCPOA, uh, the United States uh, would do the same thing. Iran's leader wasn't the only official to react to the story. Foreign Minister Javad Zarif also went on Twitter to say this. He wrote, U.S. acknowledged Pompeo's claims regarding Resolution 2231 had no legal validity. We agree. In compliance with the 2231, the U.S. unconditionally and effectively lift all sanctions imposed, reimposed, or relabeled by Trump. We will then immediately reverse all remedial measures. Simple. Commit. Act. Meet. Then it was time for the foreign ministry's spokesperson to remind the world that, why don't I just read you the tweet, eh? Uh, Said Khatibzadeh writes, reminder, because of the U.S. withdrawal from the JCPOA, there is no P5 plus one. It is now only Iran and P4 plus one. Remember, Trump left the room and tried to blow it up. Gestures are fine, but to revive the P5 plus one, the U.S. must act. Lift sanctions, we will respond. Here's the key sequence. Commit, act, meet. That was definitely a witty response for sure, but also 100% true. After all, it was the U.S. who pulled out of the agreement and threatened to destroy it. Iran is unimpressed. It has had its fair share of nice gestures and empty promises. It is now demanding action, a solid move in the right direction. عمل از طرف مقابل ببینیم ما هم عمل خواهیم کرد با حرف و وعده و اینکه ما این کار خواهیم کرد اون کار خواهیم کرد جمهوری اسلامی این دفعه قانع نخواهد بود مثل گذشته نخواهد بود Okay, so we read a couple of tweets from some rather high profile Iranian officials Now it's time to see the people's reaction to this story Our first tweet comes from Ali, he writes, yes sir, the promise of the wolf is only betrayal. Iranians have no trust in criminals in the White House. Trust me, Ali, there's a whole bunch more people who don't trust the White House. Our next tweet comes from Dan Tsobushi. He writes, changed Iran position? Not on the JCPOA, but Javad Zarif use of commit, act, meet is new. So what commitment does Iran want besides the US returning to the JCPOA? Is it committing to its defense missiles being off the table? What else? Iran wants it back to the way it was. The JCPOA, nothing more, nothing less. Now we have another tweet similar to this by Ario. They write, if the POTUS is honestly willing to engage with the P5 plus one, the US must stop violating the 2231 UNSC resolution and lift illegal sanctions on Iranian people. Your actions count, Joe Biden, not your words. Commit, act, meet. Let's have a look. With the P5 plus one, on Iran's nuclear program. We must also address Iran's destabilizing activities across the Middle East. And we're going to work in close cooperation with our European and other partners as we proceed. One quick reminder, Mr. Biden, your country is no longer a part of the P5 plus one. So you can't engage with it unless you agree to respect the terms of the deal completely. Our next tweet comes from G. Shoday. He writes, there is no five plus one. We have four plus one. If the USA wants to join the four plus one, it must lift all sanctions and compensate all damages done to Iran. Our next tweet comes from Sayyid Mohammad Marandi. He writes, explaining Iran's position regarding nu the nuclear deal. Biden wants innocent people to suffer to get concessions. Iran showed more than enough flexibility when it negotiated the nuclear deal. Iran didn't appease Trump and it won't appease a much weaker Biden. And our final tweet on the matter by Reza Namazi, he writes, the JCPOA has an agenda. Any other theme should be discussed somewhere else. It is easy and common sense to understand, right? <laughs> All right, that's been it for another edition of Hashtag Trending. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Let's get back to the studio.